and this is not against right now this is the problem and it talks about politics and about voting the uh, death of young black men and black boys there's a genocide going on and yet there is you know black on and a black man on uh, black men crying and black women on uh, black men black men on uh, black women crying but it's not way the way it is but it's not addressing the systematic problem overall when it comes to confrontation with law enforcement with certain individuals out there that uh that um excuse me, that um the politicians don't want to address so I'm gonna play this video and I'm gonna show you I'm gonna give you my comment I'm gonna show you this other page but I'm gonna, you know, this is Phil Scott and this is really what, what he was introducing Red Baron's new um, stuffed crust pizza um, where he talks about what the pop D1 and getting legislation passed for African Americans included in his act and this is what he said what the politicians these individuals told him, you know, well, what about black people? When there's different groups of people that have gotten things that in different situations that got laws passed. And so I'm going to let him tell you from his own, own words. And then I'm going to show you this other video. Show you this. And you're going to hear my voice in the background. But, uh. It's going to show you how many, what the black police, these black, the black caucus, the politicians, this is what they're not really addressing and they kind of dance around it. But when it comes to a legislation, a law in which the black boys, the black men become the sacrifice on American shores and to continually die like you would see, you know, let's say some of the people in the Middle East. Here it is. Last year was on cold with themselves. And they would say, we're not going to participate in the sabotage, the undermining of the black community. Uh, we're all going to be on cold with this. We wouldn't have the problems that you see today. Understand? When it comes to our black politicians, the majority of them are Democrats. The majority of them are. You only have a few that isn't, right? And the majority of black folks vote for the Democrat Party. And for people who just real slow to think and slow to understand, you know, when I bring these topics up, oh, he must be a Republican. No, uh, Mr. Slow Thinker, no. When I talk about the Republican, when I talk about uh, uh, the other side, Oh, you must be a Democrat. You know, no, Mr. Slow Thinker, I'm not. The fact is, you don't want to hear the religion of Democrat talked about. Because I told you guys before, white Jesus and Democrat is a religion for black folk. Understand it. Black American folk, they are so brainwashed in this country, no matter what they do. But when you look at the black politician in this country, they're not participating in the betterment of black people in our community. They're not for black empowerment, or some people may say the term now, black first. They're not in that. They are what you would call Democrat first. Completely. That's what they think. So whatever the Democrat Party says, that's their marching orders. Understand? I had done an interview earlier you know, today. And I had asked a question in this interview to, you know, the person I was interviewing. What has the Biden administration do, done specifically for black people? Immediately, the response was, well, the America First plan, you know, it, it had uh, money to black farmers. And I said, yes, that's good. I said, but we talk about the masses of black people saying, do you know that black farmers in America actually under 100,000 now when they had more than a million plus at the turn of the, uh, in the 
turn of 1900s, and did you know that? You understand what I'm saying? What about the 40 plus million black people? What has he done for them? He hasn't done anything. They try to do everything they can to defend Democrat, but they don't care about black people. Let me tell you something. On top of that, defending Democrat and being Democrat first, you're on intersectionality. You're on, well, you know, you, you believe that this COVID-19 hate crimes bill, that is an Asian protection bill, um, that's, a, that's a victory for, for you know, intersectionality. And what about black people? I mean, do you understand that bill? Cause Joe Biden... Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. And I'm Alexander Green. And we are in Manhattan on Wall Street to tip... Gonna sign it. Do you understand that the bald eagle in this country, the national bird, is a federally protected bird? And if you do something to that bird, you're getting federal charges. Do you realize that that bill that Joe Biden's going to sign, that he didn't do nothing for black people, you were dancing in the streets, you were celebrating and everything, and saying, give him a chance. Once he signs this bill, because it passed the Senate, overwhelmingly it passed the Senate, Democrats and Republicans don't get along for nothing. But they both in lockstep with that. The House, same thing. Democrats and Republicans overwhelmingly agree about this. Do you realize at that point, the Asian American community will be at a protected class no different than the national bird, the bald eagle. Do you realize that? Now, did the Asian community have an equivalent to George Floyd and why they need some protection? What is the Asian version of Sandra Bland? What is the Asian version of Philando Castile? You know, where's the, the history of, you know, Asian people having their churches bombed and them being lynched uh, by the Ku Klux Klan? You know, where, where, where is that history of that happening on a constant? Not not some that did happen, but on a constant, even in recent history. Where, where, where's those equivalents? Where's the Asian version of Breonna Taylor? Where, where are they? We don't see that. Uh, a group that had recorded the lowest hate crime group, actually, uh, by FBI statistics, black Americans ranked the highest with anti-black hate crimes. But yet, we don't get a bill. But when you're Democrat first, they get that bill without putting in the work that you put in to get it. You understand? Your black politicians were so Democrat first, they signed on that bill too. You understand? It wasn't that same, wait a minute, I'm not going to vote for it for the simple fact that my community has been suffering for, for hundreds and hundreds of years. Hey, we giving them a bill and we don't get a bill? Or we don't we are not attached to the bill? No, they're just saying, okay, black community, Asian community, okay, I wouldn't say nothing. We both protected now. But no, your Congressional Black Caucus voted for that bill. But when it comes to you, it's a study for you. Joe Biden, what happened with him? He immediately gonna give them money through the Health and Human Services. Fifty million dollars. No study, no commission, no hearings, no nothing. But everything with you as black folk, it has to be a hearing, it has to be a study, it has to be everything else. They can't pass a thing for you. It, it, listen, Rand Paul did a filibuster on the anti-lynching bill. Why would you do a filibuster on that? But he didn't show up to vote at all when it came to this this Asian protection bill. Have you noticed that? But our politicians created this whole thing. I'm not mad at the Asian community for anything because they are Asian first and they should be. Two of their politicians presented this bill. And of course with the media in lockstep, of course, I want y'all to pay attention to something. The media and why media is more important than what y'all ever think. Media is propaganda. The media.
why do we sign every stern symbol? He's absolutely because right. Each one is so artfully constructed. Sorry with about that. craftsmanship and luxurious Media was used right after the election of, 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 of Biden to lockstep and demonize black people, lie on black people, say, oh, look, all these black people attacking Asians. And they beat that war drum, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it until this bill comes, right? So now they present the bill. Okay, they got the whole country galvanized. Oh, yeah, something needs to happen about this. The media done their job, right? They present a bill. Record time, it gets through Congress. Nothing gets through Congress that quick. And now you're about to see Joe Biden signs this. Same thing would happen with the 1994 crime bill. Understand? They, all oh, black people are super predators. Black people are crack epidemic. Black people don't. The media did all that first. Then Joe Biden and his ilk did that crime bill, and Bill Clinton signed that. It's always a media propaganda first, then they get the, the, the bill going, and they signed that. That media is your enemy. It is not on your side. Now, the one thing I did agree with Trump on, I have to agree with Trump on this one, when he said the media is the enemy of the people, yep. yes, it's definitely the enemy of black people. Yes. I can't speak on other groups. I sure can speak on black people. Yeah, absolutely, Phil. He has been Phil. the enemy from, from the time he's been here. Absolutely. Uh, black people. I want you to pay attention to that. When it went to the Iraq war, right? Every day, weapons of mass destruction. Saddam Hussein doing this to his people. All this stuff they were saying, it were lies. They completely lied on Saddam Hussein. And they went in there and, and, and started that war. And then they decimated Iraq. You know, stealing gold, stealing all the things you saw them stealing. If you look at that footage, money, gold, the U.S. military is just not doing what they normally do, go loot. I'm talking about in history, how they loot other things. Why is American soldiers looting? That's looting, right? Didn't find no weapons of mass destruction, but every day this media said that Saddam Hussein had a weapons of mass destruction. Those of you who remember that. Mm -hmm. You understand? That media is a prelude to, to what they really going to do politically. So you go back to these black politicians who are just strong, you know, they're not for black people. They for, they for Democrat Party. Democrat Party saying we're not getting rid of qualified immunity. You can just see on the actions. We we're not paying reparations. Matter of fact, the black politicians is the one that killed that conversation. Understand? Biden say he ain't paying no reparations. He don't agree with that. He said you can study it, but you can't even get a bill to study it. But, you know, but Biden knows he don't even have to study that. He can do executive order and, and, and put, send out a whole lot of money. How is it that he want to send $310 billion to Central American countries? $310 billion. Biden just recently approved the, the arms sale uh, to Israel for $764 million, even though it was going on over there between them and the Palestinians. He's approving that. So Biden can do anything he would like to do. He can do money in the billions without any congressional approval. None. So, the conflict is, a black politician, from what we see here, can't be really for black empowerment. They're not for it. They're not going to be for it. If they're Democrat, right? If they're Republican, they're not for it either. None of the political parties in America is for the black community. Nair, one of them. The Democrats are Republicans. They're not going to help black America. They're not going to fix our issues and problems. They're not going to do anything. But the reason why I focus more on the Democrats is because black folks vote almost 90% for Democrats. Have you seen my pen? Is this my pen? Oh my or gosh, my John, that's marital property. The last election, y'all voted almost 90%. And what did you get out of it? Out of these black politicians? What did you get out of it? Your black politicians make sure other people are protected over you. They're not for the black community. They're not black first. They're not. They're for Democrat. And Democrat means maintaining white supremacy. Republican means maintaining white supremacy. Your black politicians get their little checks, get their little access, and they come to y'all, and they make y'all think, see, look, I, I represent the community. Look, look at what happened with Kamala. Boy, you got a lot of Democrat shields on their hiding with that, because now they're having to eat crow because we told everybody 
how Kamala really got down. We told him. Now, a lot of black Americans are very, very upset, and rightfully so. And I guarantee you that a lot of black Americans, what they're going to do is they're going to say, okay, well, this is what you want to pull. This is how you treat us. This is what you do. Okay, no problem. Well, let these other groups vote for you. Let these other groups go ahead and say, we're not going to waste our time. We're not going to fool with you no more. Don't come tell us about no racism. We don't care. We're getting killed when you're in there. We're getting killed when you're not in there. Nothing's improved since you've been in there. You don't, you ain't passed a thing to, to, to deal with the police. You ain't stopping. You're not stopping it whatsoever. I mean, come on. I mean, seriously, like, what are you doing? You haven't done anything. Why should we waste our time? Well, if you get this. I'm going to stop right here and we'll come back to him. Now I'm going to show you something. What's he talking about? So this is something that um, I, I got on this page. Hold on, let me pull up this page. Since you talk about the politicians, this is on News One. Look, look what the heading says: 110 black men and boys been killed. And I'm gonna stroll down the picture. And I'm going to show you. This is why, why the politicians are not, are not dressing. Why your black caucuses and all these other people are not dressing this. They haven't dressed this since either politicians. And it gives you the story about the Chauvin verdict, which just hasn't. But here, here, here it come this young man, the twenty conflicting. Miss, if I said Miss Quinn and Miss Queen. And it tells you was killed. He was a uh, One, one was a, a, a guy named, it talks about Tamara Rice, Bolton John, E.J. Bradford, Michael Brown, Michael Dean, a 28-year-old father who police was shot in the head, um, Jamie Johnson, 22-year-old HBC student who police shot to death in a questionable traffic stop. This was a college student, ladies and gentlemen, but the black politicians don't want to talk about but they, they want you to vote. But as young black men and black boys get sacrificed, this is what this is what happened. And they're not addressing this. Again, Tom Brown ain't addressing this. The Kamala Harris says ain't gonna address this. BML ain't addressing this. Black Lives Matter ain't addressing this. But constantly there are young black men that are dying. There are men are dying, are being sacrificed. Look at this, look at this young man, Matthew Williams, 35. Uh, he's a father of five, 35. Matthew Williams demanded that a, his family demanded that a shouting death to be released by the cop police shot killed in his home. They said he he lunged at officers when family said he was running away from officer. This is just his family. Where's the politicians on this one? Where, where, where's your black caucus on this one? But they want, we want you to vote. Dante Wright, 20 years old. Yep, this is one of the well-known cases. This is at a police stop. Even the, he got shot. You know that one. Here's another one. Here's another one. No, Marvin D. Scott, 26 years old. Who died in police custody in Texas? I'm so oh, sorry, I went too fast. He died in police custody. Where is your black, black politician addressing this? Where's your black caucus addressing this? Where's the Democrat addressing this? But they passed the laws, will feel the same, but yet black men are dying. 
for, for an unjust cause reasons. Kurt Reinhold, 42 years old, shot to death, 23 by Orange County deputies approaching, accusing him of jaywalking. This man got killed for jaywalking. He got killed for jaywalking on June last year. Mahel Rose, 19. Mahel Rose was killed by four officers within hours of killing of Deshaun Reed because his story was got clouded. We need to wear it. Mahel was a personal friend of mine and he was a sweet boy ever. He was in the deserve just Mahel. He was 19 years old. Mm. He was shot killed by police in Indianapolis and they had almost responded to a burglar turned out to be untrue. This was an untrue story. It was untrue. The police claimed that he they arrived, they were shot at. They returned fire and struck the friendly struck. The prosecute declined to bring charges against the officers involved because they were deemed to have been defending themselves. Xavier Hill, eighteen years old. Family deserved justice. Virginia laws do not require VSP release footage to wear body cameras. He was eighteen and his whole life was ahead of him. NAACP Justice for Xavier signed a petition. What, was, what, what happened to Xavier? 18 year old Xavier Hill was shot and killed by Virginia State Police on January 9th. Police to be, he was high range speed in Interstate 64. He was found of advocate for release of the body, which conflict with the account of the chain of events. Police claimed that Hill refused to exit the vehicle, displayed his hands, accused of brandishing a weapon, and resolved troopers firing and fatally shot. Frederick Cox, 18 years old. An 18 year old teen from High Point, North Carolina, shot by police while attending a funeral in, in 2020. Why? He was shot by police while attending a funeral in 2020. Patrick Warren Sr. was killed after a police officer responded to attempt to contact the mental health professor and notice no behavior change in, in her home in Colleen, Texas. This man had a mental health problem. After the family called to help, the mental health worker was unavailable. So the police were sent to Warren's home and stayed in with the officers at the front to ask them to leave. When officers refused, the family came to the door to see being tased on the ground. Then the officer shot Warren, aimed a gun at Warren's wife. Then shot again, according to press release. It's unclear how many times Warren was shot, but at least twice. This was this is this is man was shot at by police at shooting in New York 39 doors went. Dorsey was shot and killed July 1st, 2021, South Orange, New Jersey, during a police confrontation. Little detail is required to lead to the shooting. State Attorney joint launched an investigation. Um, this guy was first, I can't spell his name, it was the first involved death of Minneapolis since George Floyd. This guy was part of, you know, this guy's name, D O L Dal Dala Dala, over a family traffic stop. He died of multiple gunshot wounds after. This was in the same after the, since the Jewish war. This is another black, young black man killed in in, in in Minneapolis. Of course, you know about this one, the Andre Hill case. In Columbus, Ohio, he was shot, killed. Unarmed black man killed by police. Where is your politicians on this one? Where is the hate crime bill? Where is where is the sense of protection? Uh, you know about Andre Hill. He was shot, killed by Officer Corey in Columbus, Ohio, on December 22nd while holding a, a cell phone. Hill was the second black man shot by state police just weeks after the tragedy of Casey Goodson Jr. He was killed holding a sandwich. The case is significant the fact that Corey turned off his body camera led to shooting and switched to back direct, directly after the city officials and activists calling for his determination has been placed on temporary leave. 
Joshua Fist. Fist. I'm so sorry. Jo Joshua was shot in the back by Louise El Market police officer Jose Santos. He was running away, posing no threat. When it says Santos refused to render aid to Joshua after shooting him and kicked kicked his body after deliberately but debilitating by the bullet. He didn't even call his officer didn't even call after he shot the suspect. Wow. But yet there is no hate crime bill, there's nothing. Marcus Gordon. Marcus is shot by New Jersey State during the traffic stop 2020. He was a two, uh, He was having a mental health. According to this, he was is a possibility he was having a mental health issue. The 20 year old man was somehow shot six times from a physical struggle including pepper spray before he was killed. The officer conflict in the counts. And it's being listed at the New Jersey Clinical. Here's another one that was out of Columbia. This is the Casey Good Goodson case. This young man was shot and killed as he unlocked his door and entered his home in Franklin County, Ohio on December 4. Franklin County Sheriff Deputy working with the U.S. Marshal shot Goodson. But the 23 year old black man was not the target of the task force, according to Walton Brown in the law firm as representing the family. The police in Gleason was banishing a handgun, but he was legally licensed to carry a concealed weapon in open state carry state. Case KC was shot and killed as he unlocked his door and entered his home. His death was witnessed by a 72-year-old grandmother and two toddlers who was near the door. But yet, there is no hate crime. So, 17, Rodney Apple White, 25 years old. He had been by the during the traffic stop, claiming Alpine was tempted to disarm the officer. His family claimed he was received little to no information regarding his death, looking to transparency in the case. I was traveling to there to spend Thanksgiving with his family. R.J. Crumbs. And it goes on and on and on. But this, yeah. Let me get back. Let's go back to what Phil said. This person in there and that person in there. We tried it all. We even had a black president and y'all didn't do anything. Let's call it what it is. We even had a black president eight years, nothing happened. And you got his vice president, and nothing is happening now. Actually, he's being blatant with his anti-black behavior. So black people, we need to think about ourselves. We don't need to be a part of no political parties. We need to be completely independent. You know, as black people, we say, listen, this is a independent party for ourselves. And when I say a party, I'm just saying that we just getting together. It's not about registering a party with their system and doing this and doing that. No. And the moment you start registering a party, you're going to start having all kinds of problems. No. If you believe that we should, you know, do things out on our own way or basically by a code, because the, the, the party is the code, basically. Living by the code, operating by the code, then you know we shouldn't even be a part of no party that has no empowerment in for us. I mean, look at the Democrats.
Democrats, they want to make sure everybody else is in power except the people that's their base. And you, do you understand that other groups look at us as ignorant? Do you understand other groups look at us as, as like very, very, just, I gotta say it dumb. Like, nobody goes out there and vote like you in, in the mass numbers, you know, for one particular party. Nobody. Nobody's out there protesting like you. Nobody's doing that, but yet everybody's benefiting off of you. Do you realize that's what slaves do? Slaves work to benefit others. They don't work to benefit themselves. And you have some of you that's proud to be a slave, and that's fine. If you want to be a slave for the rest of your life, go ahead. You can continue to be Democrat first and being excited when everybody else gets something, and you'll get nothing. But those of us who are smart, those of us who get it, say, okay, you got these midterms coming up, let the other community vote for you. Go ahead. Since you want to give them everything, you, you do that. And then when 2024 come, let the, mother, let the other community vote for you. Go ahead. We're we going to focus on other things like building up our community. People ask me every day, what do I do to look the way that I do? When I tell them, we're going to focus on, you know, uh, uh, focusing on schools, doing things that we need to do, building up businesses. We're going to focus on getting our passports. We're going to focus on trying to get land uh, elsewhere, you know, make connections elsewhere. We're going to focus on things like that. But we don't have, we don't have that kind of time. If y'all are so invested into, into this political system that proves you that says every day, F you, that political system every day says that. And then you have, the bad part is, it's not that the system says that to you. You have willing participants in black society that's willing to line up for CNN commentary.
that consider themselves Democrat first and not for black people or black empowerment or black first. They're traitors. They're sellouts. They're completely oblivious. They don't care if we are hurt or harmed. And that's how we got to take that. We can't take that as just calling them names. You know, sometimes you call them names. And Big Pharma doesn't want you to know about this detox technique. These detox patches are taking the world sample. No, no, it's not about that. It's that they don't care if you or me are kids. They don't care if you or me have any way to feed our families. They don't care. As long as they get their checks and their access. We got to be extremely hostile to these people who are Democrat first in our community. They don't care nothing about the black community. If you're not going to do nothing about the black community, then move out of the way. Get out of those positions. Let people come in as going to do that. It's going to have a referendum in that Democrat party. You understand? Because if y'all want to be a part of that party, at least make a change in it. But y'all don't even want to do that. You will. Like, you look at the dude that runs the Democrat party right now. He got safe Negro all over his face. Oh my God. Just that Jamie Harrison. My God. You know, it's like, that's, if that's the quintessential safe Negro. <laughs> you understand? Safe. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna buck the system at all. You know they love them kind of black folks being taught. Notice something: they would never have a black person that talk like me and taught them anything. Well, they know good and well what's gonna happen when that come about. Because let me tell you something: if I had any position like that, I would set it on fire. Because I'm saying, listen, either y'all do what you're supposed to do, but I'm about to just just go it on and just say hey, it's in the whole thing here. Why you have a congressional black caucus? Why? Because it seems like it's a congressional everybody else caucus. And not black. And maybe it should be called that a congressional, you know, black Democrat caucus that's Democrat first. You know what I'm saying? Something to that effect. And, you know, people in the congressional black caucus follow my page. And I know some of you see. And I, I, I'm serious on this. What are y'all doing? Seriously. Y'all haven't presented one thing to protect black people. Why isn't, why isn't the Congressional Black Caucus members presenting a, a, a hate crime bill specifically for black people when you got the data to back that up? How is it that you're willing to vote for an Asian bill and they have a bill presented for black people? How? Why don't you screaming about the George Floyd Policing Act and making sure it has teeth in it to punish these race over? Why? Because you're Democrat first. That's what it is. And it's killing us. And that blood that black people are dying is on your hands too. Well, leave me a comment. Let me think about the, you know, the, this commentary here. I had to talk about this because we really have to look at this. Any of those Democrat shields and any of those people who are so much about the Democrat Party, we have to look at them as those participating in harming us now. We got to. Because if we don't look at it that way, they're not, they're not going to change. The community is not going to change. This is not a joke anymore. As I stated before, once Joe Biden signs that bill, the Asian American community will be just as protected as the bald eagle. Think about that for a minute. They will have a special liaison in the DOJ to deal with any issues specifically for them as part of their bill. We've been getting killed for hundreds of years. They don't have a special liaison in there at all. You can say, what's the civil rights division? The civil rights division is for anybody. It's not specifically for the average for us. Now, we know the reason why the white supremacists are doing that because they need the age community for something. They need something they got to sleep or what else. They want to make sure they raise him to a uh, very, very protected status. But, you know. For that happening, you know, a lot of black people are saying, okay, well, you decided, you, you decided to partner with the white supremacists, that's fine. Um, now you're about to start experiencing the, you know, the strong economic boycott. And a lot of you have started that. Um, I would say that would be a better way to send a message, strong economic boycott to all of these groups. Um, because they lied on us to get a bill, and that's not cool. Yeah, let's get that. So let's get back to, to, to the blood and sacrifice of black men across America.
the, the black caucus what he was talking about they don't want to sign a crime bill they don't want to sign immunity but yet you're getting these these unjustifiable killing serious peers sincere peers sincere he, this young man was 18 years old um, Cynthia Green talks about her son he was in a kill in he was killed in the double shooting last Friday he and she has not gotten her sense about her son's body where's the black caucus on this one 18 years old Billy I mean Walter Wallace Jr. Um, Philadelphia this young man is 27 years old he suffered from mental illness and was killed in broad daylight in the street of Philadelphia I ain't gonna read the whole story. Where's the black caucus? Where, where's, 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 where's the black caucus? Where is it? Marcel is killed by police in Waukesha, Illinois. 19 years old. Jonathan, Jonathan Price. This, this guy. He, who was shit? Well, he, he, he was for police. He was for. He was. Um, he, he was. You know, a, a mediator. He was the police. He was trying to break up a dispute between a man and a woman, and some Texas Ranger shot him. He was. A, he, he didn't have no record. He didn't have nothing. He was doing the right thing. Doing the right thing, breaking up a fight. He he gets. The police shoot him as opposed to being the person who stuck the get shot him. And he was in a non threatening posture. But where's your black caucus on this one? Where's your voting on this one? Don Don K. You see that this pattern is is eighteen years old. Daniel Plude with another man uh, had he has some mental issues, mental crisis. They shot him. Where's the, where's the black caucus on this? This is in, in all these black caucuses. This is right in the, the back of their doorstep. Who vote laws for the Asian community. But yet black men who, who have been shot. The, the, the different circumstances across this country. And they ain't passed a law. But yet they want you to get out every November and, vo and vote. What's the sense of voting when, when, when your own people... Uh, some who have not, and these are men who have not committed a crime just because of the color of their skin. They, de they deserve death. And, and the media, like you know, Phil said, they'll paint a narrative. Trey, Trey for Mellon, shot, killed by Louisiana State Police. David Otmati, Al this guy used to. Had his own restaurant. He would get. He would uh, feed police. He, he was a member of the community. This is during the time of Brianna's detainer situation. It, it was in Louisville. He would get. He was served cost free meals. He was shot, killed by police that night. This meant he catered to the community. He was a good guy. He was a citizen. Where's your black caucus on this? But yet they want you to vote. N N Natasha Tony McKay. 30. Ger George Floyd. You, you know about anyone in the world know about that one. Yassine Muhammad. This is GPI. Georgia. Bill. Guess who? Guess who's in the backyard of that one? I'm uh, 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 About feeling. Ben Hart. But your Democrats don't don't want to talk about this. Your black politicians, your Democrat first. He, he was a young man, Sean Reed. He was a, a military man. He was a U.S. military. Look at this. Black men. Look at this. Why are they ain't dressing this? Why do they want to pass the immunity law? 
33 years old. This is what Phil was talking about. And those who anticipate with this, blood is on their hands. These people's blood is on the if these young these men had died. McCrit Chester Police, South Carolina. Is that where Jim Clyburn hit his this district? Allegedly he was shot in that Walmart. Place claimed the twenty placed in custody, fled and show offers and this is what they said. It was a wrongful death claims that he was handcuffed behind his back but he was fatally shot while he was handcuffed. Another Minneapolis, Ter Terrence Franklin. We're gonna go down the line. Miles twenty uh, something he had a mental illness breakdown. Twenty three on Miles Hall. Darius Tarver, twenty three years old, a University of Texas student. You, what's going on here, people? Twenty something, thirty something years. This is, is a genocide. This is genocide of black men. This is a genocide right here. Nineteen years old. They're, they're in the prime of their life. They did, what, when you read the case, it don't even some of it don't even add up. But you just say that they, they're black. They must have done something. They must have done something. And we don't even see the whole case. Okay, well, where, 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 where is the, the camera? Where is, uh, what is, what is, was the cause for death? Four three, it, it goes on and on. Black men, black men, black men. Uh, Anthony Hill, Devon Bailey, Eric Logan. Oh shit! I'm sorry. Eric. We are working up now, Eric Logan. Fifty four year old Logan was shot and killed by South Bend Police he have sued officer from this man fifty four years old, a middle aged man. He said he was going to clean up and threatening with a knife. Wow. Seventy six bullets from from police. This is in Atlanta, Georgia. Gregory Hill. But this this there's no crime bill. This there's, there's no meeting bill passed for protection of black people. Yeah, but Joe Biden pa passed the law. But yet continually black blood. Not the hands of a gang member, not the hands of a Another black man. These were all the well, hands of unjustifiable excessive force some of the officers use on these, these people. 24 years old, on the inside of a car. He was shot 37 times by Los Angeles Department. He was shot, that young man was shot 37 times. Brandon Weber was shot 20 times by U.S. Marshals in Memphis, Tennessee. He was just 20 years old. 21 years old, Jimmy Ickerson. He was shot by police. But yet, you can't get a mini bill. Willis McCoy. 20 years old. And then it just 21 years old. D D Dietrich Griffin. 21 years old. 18 years old.
Okay, he was doing something. But security guard Jamil Robinson was hooked. Now check this one out. This, this guy, Jamil Robinson, 26 years old. J security guard Jamil Robinson was holding down a shooting suspect when police burst and shot Robinson instead. He was holding the suspect down and he gets shot. You know this one, Baltham Jean got shot in his own apartment by, by that officer. And she's trying to get her case over th tone as we speak. As black men, young black men, middle-aged black men's bloods be on the street, your black caucus won't won't do nothing about immunity in certain cases. Dang. Sorry about that. But yet they will not do anything for black black people, and, and black people are paying the price. This is not by about another black person. These deaths that you see are not by another young black male or nothing. A female, black, female, black male. This is not black on black. This is just in most cases was unjustifiable. You remember this one, Trayvon Martin. Wendell Allen. Kendrick Day. Larry Jackson. Jonathan Farrell. Jordan Baker. We had 69, ladies and gentlemen. Victor Wright. Trey Hamilton. Eric Garner. You know that one. John Crawford. This guy was shot. Someone called the police on him saying that he was, you know, was in this morning looking at guns and he was trying out how to hold a weapon. And he got shot just for just trying to see because he had a weapon in his hand. He wasn't holding up the place or nothing. But he got shot for going to the point this store. Anybody know about Michael Brown? That one was a high case. Black blood. And what it my question is, what what is the black caucus? So you have a black caucus that's for all people, but all people are not coming up deaf. Black men are coming up deaf. Ezell Ford, 25. Dante P Parker, 36. This, does this look like all people? <laughs> Call me Powell. All people. All people. Where is the multiple people? This is just, this is just black. And I'm sure there are some Native American, they, they, there's been some death over there. And there's some Hispanics that have died. But look who's taken in majority across America. In Malcolm McQuan. Gurley. Remember he was shot. Tamir Rice. It goes on 34, 36 years old. 43 years old. Tony Robinson, 19 years old. Walter Scott, 15 years old. Remember Walter Scott? He was he was the one that, you know finally he was a, this officer Slager was the only one that got convicted out of all these people. Walter Scott was running away and luckily his 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 death was caught on tape. This and the cop just opened fire on him. Brandon Glenn killed by officer Sam Du Bois forty three. Christian nineteen we had eighty nine. Minnesota, Minneapolis, Jamil Clark, 
San Francisco, Maury Woods, 19, 18, 19. Gregory Gunn, 58 years old. Flanders Castillo, remember in Minneapolis. We have a problem in Minneapolis. So the black death in America keeps rising and rising and rising and rising. Meanwhile, it, what, what you have, uh, so we don't have a race problem. <laughs> we don't have a race problem, according to Tim Scott. Oh no. Oh no, this is just exact. This is just a freaking exaggeration. Terrence, you remember uh, Terrence Crutcher? You tell Kamala Harris and Tim Scott this. What the? They sh this up this man. Apparently, you know, he got shot by this cop. We go on to 99. Andre Alango. Alpha, I'm sorry, Alpha Alango. It goes on and on. 110 men and boys, men, young men, and, and boys, a couple of boys who died. Tamir Lances and the other young men. But they're dying. They're dying in the streets. And your black caucus won't do nothing. Your black caucus won't even pass the bill. Your black caucus. This is what Phil was talking about. Steph, Steph and Clark. But yet they want you to get out and vote, dance the jig, and bring up these old civil rights people. And it's death and it's pain after pain after pain. And everybody's making pain after pain. Where is this? And you know, it's funny that my family said, you know, this this past election was like, what, what, we got to get out and vote. What we voting? For, what what the hell are you voting for? When 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 you have black men out here dying, majority of them, it, it was no need for death. So you got some police that overreact, and then you have you have politicians that won't do nothing. What what is the sense of voting for something if you're not going to get something done? But yet they they slap this. You know what? Remember. You know, civil rights workers, yeah, and, and we, I respect what they did, but what, and overall, what has it done for black people? This is what Phil was saying. What has it done? You got a black caucus. You got black representatives. And in, in all the cities that you see, with some of these black caucuses in Washington, D.C., and black Democrats, not a darn thing has been done. Not a darn thing has been done to stop the, the death. Not black versus black crime. But this is just over, over just overreacting. Going to a situation and pow, 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 pow. And over killing somebody. But yet, you have people in denial. There's, there's, there's no race problem. You have a black. And I'm gonna show you again. What what he, it's, it's crazy. But yet you have you just seen I just showed you the picture over a hundred black men have died at the hands of police. Most of it was unjustifiable. There have been other people had to have mental problems and, and had been white and didn't come out on death. They had mental problems. They didn't come out on death. They found a way to restrain them and they still and they still live. But they put the black, they put they put the black men to death, and it and it was the same, and it's, it's the same scenario, same situation. They don't they don't die, they don't die, they live. I mean, it was a case where um, it was two white suspects that stole the cop, and it was a cop car. They end up living, you know. They they did it, it, even though it's not justified to deed, but they let them live. But they didn't put. But the police didn't put them to death. They put the young black men to death. And then when they say, "Hey, you know, let's see the footage," but we don't. We don't have a race problem in America. 
But I just showed you, this is what Phil was talking about. They don't do nothing for black people. And, and vote for what? For history? What you voting for? When, when, I mean, when they, they literally genocide, black men are being genocide off the earth. From 17 all the way up to 54 years old. Black men are being genocide out there, and your black politicians won't do nothing. But they won't put intercession there. We all people. We, we, we all people, though. This is why it's such anger and such disgust. And it's the same old protest. It's the protesting, and it's true. It doesn't do no good. You know, it's just all it is, you're just letting out frustration. It doesn't do no good. Because the death keep rising. Just like in America, like you see in other places. These men are at the prime of their life. They kill them at the prime of their and they know what they're doing. It's, 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 it's some connection. It's almost like it, it goes back to like the ancient Bible between the Hebrews and, and Israel. The he the, the, the e I mean Egypt uh, I mean I'm sorry Egypt and, and Israel, the the Hebrews felt like it was too many of these the Egyptians thought it was too many of these Hebrews. We gotta find some way to put beat them irregularly till they die and put them to death. It's the same spirit that's in America. It's the same freaking spirit. It's the same spirit, and you and you have this person. And I'm gonna show you give me this picture this picture. That said that there ain't no problem with America. I'm gonna show you this picture. This clown said that this no this no race problem. <laughs> this we don't have a race problem. You just I just showed you 110 black men that just died. Most, most of them was not of their fault around the country, but we don't have a race problem. You know, and you see it. You, you, you witness in time. That's just 110 that so far we reported. It, it might be other ones out there that we don't even know about. That would probably died at the hands of the police, and probably some are still dying. At, who knows across this country? This again, this is not a black man kill, jumping on another black man crime or shooting another black man in the head. This is this is specifically by law enforcement, specifically, and guaranteeing most of most of young men did not have a record. Did not have a record, but it, it paints the narrative. That's what Phil was saying. But yet, when it comes to November, come on, come on, we got, we got, we got dance. Go get, go get those hip hoppers. In twenty twenty four, go get the. They're gonna put the hip hoppers in front of you. But most of your black, young, your, most of your black men are dying. You most of your black and soon to be black, black women are catching up too in death. The Sandra Blands. The Breonna Taylors, that's the next thing. There have been children when she got shot. A young and seven year old, oh, not by this, by no gang member, but any, they have no regard. When for Scandal Castillo, the officer opened fire in front of him, white occupants in the car, a, a little girl's in the back seat, along with his girlfriend. The officer didn't even care, and he didn't get charged. Plant came up that this that would happen in Minnesota with those three, four deaths that I just showed you about those young men. But yet they they they, they don't have a problem with policing problem. You know, but we don't have a policing problem. Why is the majority is just showing that? And then someone lying, call 911 and cause the John Crawfords and other one die for no apparent reason. That's why it's the point. If you're black, you better not call the police. <laughs> because you're going to end up like 
one of those hundred and ten victims because they get a tunnel vision it's almost like they get a tunnel vision like death so some, and I'm not saying all the officers are doing that but the ones who did who caused that caused that death There's, there's, there's some kind of bias in that training. There's something between the connection of we gotta go put them to death. You tell me. Again, my name is James. But that's the reason why was why some black people don't want to vote. And then like you said, they passed the law. There's law for other people, but yet death has been at the core of black people. And, it, and, and the politicians, the Democrat, and one side and one side, yet they both spit in black people's face. Come dance the jig with us. We got here, here's our we got we love black people. Look, we got the black representative for you. Look, we black. They know that you you see color. You don't think consequences. You see color. That's why. That's what makes some people smart. Well, I got a black friend and say, see, see, here, here's Bob. Here's so and so, so and so. He's my black friend. But they don't care nothing about you on both sides of the aisle. They use you as your color when it comes to election time. That's why I tell my family for what. All oh, right, you know, you know, it's a right to vote. Yeah, but you go be voting for the same thing. They didn't want you to vote for the same thing again over and over. They, there's some, they, let's go, let's protest. It goes over and over and protest when you see these, these things happen. It's the same cycle. Other, meanwhile, other people get, getting stuff passed for them. Other interest groups, special interest group people get passed laws. But don't worry. I say that the black people listen to it. Don't worry. And God, God see what's going on. And God sees what I've presented to you. America is going to pay for all what she's what she's doing behind us, and those who sell it out, they don't really going to pay. The ones who's black, mark, mark my word, the sellouts is going to pay. If it happened in the Bible to the people, some of the people who sold people out in the Bible, because of the death or destruction of the people. It's gonna be the winners. It's gonna it's gonna be gonna be on the same definite destruction. So it ain't, it ain't just a black thing. This ain't just a white thing. Black. There's gonna be some black people gonna suffer. It might be somebody who's closer than they want their family members, when they friends. They watch because they think they're protective. And the other people, they just. A lower class. Mark my word. It's coming. But my name is James. Till next time, you guys take care. And it, what you see is what you get. So it's up to you how you ever want you want to vote.